Want to welcome Owen out today. Today I'm joined by Osha Wilson. She's one of the co-founders of Big Oakland. And Osha, just quickly tell us what Big Oakland is so our viewers and listeners can understand what, what you're doing here. Sure. Well, uh, like your viewers and listeners, I'm an architect and a small business owner. And uh, I was looking for a co-working space to join for my company. And I toured all of them in our area and I could not find one that was set up for architects or really any part of the building industry. So we started our own. So it's a co-working space specifically built for the AEC industry. I don't know if everybody knows what a co-working space is or not, but in case they don't, um, it's an office where everybody working there is from different companies. So everybody just, you know, comes and effectively shares the cost of the infrastructure and then also gains a big network because you're now collaborating with everybody else in the space. How difficult is it to pull something like this off compared to, say, what architects typically do to, you know, pull off a building project? Well, um, I think, as this interview indicates, uh, we're all used to juggling a lot of different things, <laughs> right? Um, I think running a small business is hard in general. Being an architect is a hard job in general. So, honestly, this project felt like a piece of cake in comparison to everything else we were juggling because it was such a natural fit, you know. I'm teamed up with three other people and we all just said, what is, what is it that we as small business owners, architects, and engineers and contractors need um, to make our offices work? And we said, all right, let's pool our money, let's get a bunch of people together and let's make it work. So what advantages will building designers, building industry professionals have by working in the big Oakland space? Well, um, I've often found that I really was hampered by not having um, a sufficient products library, for one thing, um, because I was working from home a lot. So one of the things you're going to have is we're going to have a professional librarian tend a really nice products library and reference library. So, so that'll be set. It'll be like working at a big firm in that sense. Um, and then, of course, we're going to have the repo graphics, uh, plotter and scanner and all of that stuff that we need. Um, and then we're also going to have a series of workstations which are loaded with some pretty expensive software. I know that we all struggle with decisions like, should we get Revit? Gosh, that's a really expensive package, and I only need it X percentage of time. So we thought, you know, everybody's got their own laptops or their own computers for everyday stuff, but what if there were a few workstations that you could check out when you needed to do hardcore modeling or clash detection, and, uh, and everybody was sharing, in that sense, the cost of that software? And then, of course, uh, we're going to have the networking possibilities. So a lot of other co-working spaces, they either are totally agnostic as to which industry they're addressing, which means you could be side by side with somebody coding an app or a lawyer, you know, and neither of those people are helpful in any way, or they are just for designers. So this one's a little bit different because we are curating the membership so that we don't have any head-to-head -head direct competitors, but we have a huge ecosystem that crosses from designers and builders. So our hope is that we'll have a really healthy mix of people from both ends of the spectrum and everywhere in between. And just from an architect's point of view, how are you going to prevent some indirect, uh, some direct competition per se? Well. The Kickstarter campaign is now live, so a little bit of the answer depends on who signs up, right? So we're not totally sure who's going to sign up. Um, if we get some unlikely situation where we get like, I don't know, 10 different architects who all do small residential work in Oakland, um, then we're going to have to have a talk about, well, who signed up first and let's, you know, we might have to put some people on the waiting list. But my guess is that we'll end up with a pretty good mix to begin with and there will only be a few instances in which we might have to say, hey, you know, you guys are competitors. How do you feel about being in the space? Does one of you want to bow out? Something like that. So we'll have to wait and see. Osha, what is Kickstarter? Kickstarter is a website that allows everybody who's interested in helping a business get started contribute a little bit of money so that the crowd is sort of voting whether a business idea is good or bad by whether they choose to donate some money to get it started. And what, why would someone go with Kickstarter, for instance, as opposed to some traditional funding, whether through a bank or a, a small business loan? Yeah, well, 
So this project is big. It's going to cost a few million dollars because we're going to be buying a building and renovating it. Um, and obviously, we're not going to be raising a few million dollars on Kickstarter. So the way that we're thinking about it is, you know, if we're going to go to some professional investors and say, hey, would you like to park $100,000 or $200,000 with us? Those professional level investors are going to need proof of market demand. Um, so we're using the Kickstarter as a way for the people who would be in the space, not investors, but the people, you know, like you and me who would say, yeah, I want a desk, um, to, to contribute and hopefully sell out all of our available spots. So then that will be market proof and we'll go to the investors and say, look, all these people want to join. Are you convinced now that it's, you know, that it's real? And then they'll, they'll be ready at that point to pony up the, the big bucks. And what advantage does an AEC professional have by joining the Kickstarter campaign. Well, so, so you know, on Kickstarter, what they do is they allow you to give thank you, no, thank you gifts to people who back your project. Um, and so what we've done is we set up three specific levels of thank you gifts that correspond to um, a free couple months of rent in our space once it opens and a reserved spot. So both of those things are important. So if you give $75, you can choose to reserve your spot as a co-working member, which could be important because I think we might sell it out, right? So you don't want to be stuck on the waiting list. And you get two months, your first two months free. And then at 150 you get a dedicated desk spot reservation. So, of course, after those first two months, you have to pay the regular price. So um, think of it first and foremost as trying to back an idea that you think is cool, but it's a very cost-effective way to do it if you really want to join the space. Excellent. So where should someone go to get involved in the project and to back this project on Kickstarter? So just go to kickstarter.com and then search for Big Oakland. There you go. Go to kickstarter.com, search for Big Oakland. Osha, is there anything else that we haven't touched on today that you'd like to say about this new venture? Um, yeah, I do want to say that I know that we didn't invent this idea. There are a lot of other people doing versions of co-working spaces. And the fact is that they're all really awesome. And so we just want to give a humble thank you to those who paved the way for this idea. Excellent. Love it. And for those of you who are watching the video, we're joined by special guest. Osha, who do you have there with you? Um, the youngest member of my firm, <laughs> this is Emmy Lou, and she is nine months old, and she's on a sleep strike, so there you go. Emmy Lou's on a sleep strike. So, you know, if you want to pitch any extra money uh, to help OSHA, you know, buy all the books about sleep hypnosis and all that, feel free. I know that I'm watching. I have my daughter today, too. OSHA, thank you for joining us today and telling us about Big Oakland. Very, very exciting, and... Look, if you've seen this interview, you've listened to what OSHA's doing, you're in the Bay Area, go to kickstarter.com and search for Big Oakland. Yeah, thank you, Enoch. I wanted to say um, I really appreciate you giving this platform because I know that everybody who follows you is really business-minded architect, and so they will see the value of you know having a really professional-level office instead of working out of their kitchen all the time and not having to foot the bill for that professional-level office all themselves. So, thought it'd be perfect. Anyway, thanks for the interview. You bet, Osha. You know, I really wish something like this was in my area when I was starting up because it's just, it's such an awesome opportunity to be around other bright people who, you know, I'm sure once people start getting together and networking, it's going to be great for just being able to bring in projects, you know, because you're going to be, there's, the sum, I guess, is going to be much greater than the individual parts. So, I'm excited to see how it turns out.